We've already started Thanksgiving prep here and wanted to tell you what we were getting ready to do. And we used this for the garlic soup a few videos ago. Right now, I've got a pot of simmering potpourri on the stove. I make that myself. It smells like Christmas. It's what we used at Williams Sonoma to make the store smell so good. So I'll tell you what's in this before I'll get I get to the garlic. Right now, in this pot, I've got about three lemons, three or four lemons, and I put them in, maybe a little slice, poke them. Um, I have cinnamon and I have cloves. And I can use cinnamon sticks today, I just used regular cinnamon. I added about five cups of water. I let it simmer and um, I just keep refilling with water all day. And basically that has a great aroma in the house. It makes everybody think, wow, it's the holidays. So anyway, that'll get, that's going. You do not eat this. <laughs> you, it's not something you would eat, but it certainly does make your house festive. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to roast some garlic. I've got my oven preheated to 350, and I'm going to take whole heads of garlic like this. And what I do is I take the top part off, just like that. And so I expose the cloves of garlic. So I've got two done already. The reason why I'm doing this is because Mark loves mashed potatoes and he requested garlic, roasted garlic mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a quiet Thanksgiving this year. The girls aren't gonna be in, and it's just gonna be Mark and myself and my mom. So we're gonna do some more videos on Thanksgiving morning. But anyway, there's several ways you can do this. I have, it's a garlic roaster tortilla dish. So you, you can use this, or you know what? If you don't have that, you don't really need it. You can use foil. And what you're going to do is if, if you don't have, if you have one of these, you're going to take your garlic and put it in here. Otherwise you put your garlic in the foil, just like that. I always put a pan underneath in case the foil leaks, but you're going to pour olive oil, extra virgin, directly over the head of garlic, just like that. Same thing in the foil. I'm gonna go ahead and do it in my baker though, instead of the foil today. So I just do that. And then if you're gonna put it in the foil, you're going to wrap it up really nice, to, nice and tight. And then I'm gonna cover this, and I'm gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for between 20 and 30 minutes. I want the garlic to be nice and soft. So, I'll do that. Let me show you how it looks when it comes out. It's very, very hot, so you, you have to let it cool. This I've let, let cool for a while, but when you're ready to use the garlic, you press and squeeze like that. See all that goodness coming out? It is nice, it's sweet, it's not bitter, it is wonderful. So I'll use this on toast, I'll use it in the garlic mashed potatoes. I'll rub it inside uh, chicken or on chicken and uh, grill the chicken. Um, there's, there's sauces, you can use it in sauces, you can use it in dressing. So anyway, give that a try. It's wonderful, it's fragrant, it is delicious. And like I said, you just use it like this. It'll go in my mashed potatoes while we're mashing them. So anyway, that's the first of our Thanksgiving videos. Have a good day.